What is up guys, so we got another huge release coming out this week and that is the Xbox One, of course it releases worldwide on the 22nd of November um, and I just wanted to do this quick video explaining sort of my thoughts on the Xbox One and basically asking whether any of you guys are getting the console, um, drop down in the comments below as usual if you are getting the console. Um, now I'm not going to be getting an Xbox One and I'll explain my reasons for that in the video. To be honest, it's not because I'm a Sony fan, I would say fan, not fanboy, I am a Sony fan and that is because I prefer what Sony give me, I prefer the exclusives, I prefer the service, I like PlayStation Plus, um, just everything that Sony do appeals to me, but that's not hating on X uh, Microsoft and Xbox, I understand that Xbox is very popular, um, but to be honest, it's just not my choice, I prefer not to go for Xbox One, I prefer to have... PS4, it's just like any choice in life, there's always um, sort of competitors to things, it's like picking a phone, I've got a, a Sony Xperia phone uh, other than an iPhone, um, so it's just your preference, it's what you prefer, I don't hate on people who have iPhones, so it's exactly the same thing, I don't hate on people for getting an Xbox One, I just prefer to choose a PS4, um, so the reasons I'm not going for it, uh, I don't the, the exclusive games don't appeal to me, I've never played Halo, I've never played Gears of War, I've never played Forza, um, the only, like I've said in previous videos, the only game that I would like on PS4 is Dead Rising 3, I do think that looks like a fun game, um, I've watched the reviews, it's getting sort of above, ad, above average reviews, um, saying that the game isn't, isn't a true next gen game, um, and that it's very repetitive, but I do, I do think it looks like a fun game, and that's one reason why I am kind of jealous. Um, and I have to admit that Xbox One does have maybe a stronger launch lineup for the Xbox One than the PS4 does um, because of course PS4 does only have Killzone and Knack as their exclusive games. There are indie games as well of course um, but when it comes to like sort of AAA title games those are the only ones. Of course Sony was due to have Drive Club um, but that got postponed so that means Xbox had an advantage of course because they got Rise Son of Rome coming out as well um, which weirdly all the reviews for Xbox One games have come out apart from Rise Son of Rome that the embargo hasn't lifted yet which is never a good sign whenever there's an embargo on the game when we're two days away from the console launch and we still haven't had reviews for one of your launch games that's a bad sign and like I said in previous videos I don't think Rise Son of Rome is going to be as good as it looks. It looks very quick time event, it looks very repetitive and to be honest I think the visuals make is what's building everyone's hype on this game because it looks like a nice game, it looks like a gorgeous game. Um, I think that's going to kind of outweigh the gameplay and it's going to be very kind of depressing to play, not depressing is the wrong word, um, sort of that downgrading like oh kind of is that it sort of thing. Um, but to move away from the games as well, I watched uh, IGN put up like a sort of 20 minute video of a walkthrough of the Xbox One basically, what you can do on it, what features it has, and to be honest, the voice command connect gimmick, it really does look like it's been a bit of a failure. Obviously we know that uh, Microsoft have really been pushing connect, of course it comes with every console, um, and the voice command is a big thing as well, and the guy was literally saying things three times before the Xbox could kind of register what he was saying. He was literally saying sort of, Xbox, go to Dead Rising 3. Really clearly, really slowly, seriously, like Xbox, go to Dead Rising 3. And it still wasn't picking him up. Um, he was in a, a room on his own, just saying it lit literally this far away from the TV. Um, and it wasn't picking him up, so you literally, you can't just speak to it, like in the TV adverts. You know, they casually sat there with the family like, Hey Xbox, go to Netflix, and then it comes up on the street screen really cheesily. It's not like that at all. You're literally going to have to be leaning over your TV, sort of, Xbox, play game. It's going to be ridiculous, and you know it's not going to work. So that, for me, is a terrible gimmick, um, which I don't find is going to work. And a lot of people have kind of overshadowed the fact that Sony have this as well. Sony have this feature on their PlayStation Eye camera and they haven't mentioned it once which means this is how it should have been, it should have been sort of an extra feature which is sort of pretty cool to use, you shouldn't be making it your main selling point for the Xbox One with the voice commands and everything but that's just my sort of thoughts, I really don't think that's going to take off I, much, I would much prefer to use a controller and 
move there without shouting at my TV. Imagine if you're playing at sort of 3 a.m., your parents are in bed, you're having an all night session, an all night session on the latest game, and you're going to be there like Xbox off, like shouting at the screen. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, away from that as well, I do think they're heavily focusing on the TV side of things, which, to be honest, isn't a bad thing. I, I was kind of impressed by the amount of TV services and everything that they had on there, um, on the user interface. But if you do kind of look at the interface, it doesn't look like a games console anymore. The games sort of take a backhander to Netflix, um, Skype, all these TV channels. So to be honest, it looks like more of an entertainment system than a games console and for me I want the games to come first which is why uh, PlayStation is my number one choice and why I'm getting a PS4 but like I said apart from the voice command thing and sort of the lack of the game the games that I would prefer to play on PS4 I'm not hating on Xbox I don't I don't like attack people for getting Xbox ones I just prefer Sony and what they're offering me so let let me know what you think about Xbox one down below guys and tell me if you're going to be getting one this Friday because um, it releases worldwide of course um, so yeah that's about it for the video guys so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one